Hey everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with our last case of 2018 Topps Inception Baseball. Full case, pick your team number 11 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thank you to all of these folks hanging with me on a Tuesday, watching the All-Star Game, breaking some cases. Chris Rowe with triple last spot mojo. You see the stars next to his name. So good luck to him and good luck to everybody. Inception, prospect-heavy product, of course, has been very kind to us. We've pulled some nice stuff out of here. One thing that we have not pulled out of here, one thing we have not pulled out of here is a book. So maybe we'll find a book in here somewhere, which would be awesome. If I could get all the boxes out of here, that would be awesome too. You know, a box... Just packed full of hits, ladies and gentlemen. It's not coming out of the case. Too many hits. All right. So there we go. Our last case for the time being. We'll try to get some more. I'm sure there's a lot of new baseball releases coming out. I don't know when we're going to get more, but eventually we'll have some come back around. We've got a few people watching the All-Star game as well. And the last two in Valiant have been picked up. Excellent. Thank you. That'll happen right after this. Aaron Judge launching a home run right now. Who's pitching right now? Scherzer? No, Scherzer pitching right now. All right. There's Freddie Freeman, green. There's Giancarlo Stan at a 99. Laurel asking what the Expos went for. That would be the Nationals. I think, I actually don't remember what they went for. There's Trout, Jimenez, and Eric Fetty. And our first hit is going to be... What's the haps? Ian Hap. 20 out of 230. Nice one for Brent and the Cubs. All right, next box. Manny Machado up to bat. There's very strong rumors that the deal for Manny Machado to the Dodgers is done. Don't get hurt, Manny. I think he's out. All right. Good. I, I want I want Manny Machado, if it's true that he's going to the Dodgers, I want him to go 0 for the day. All right. Corey Seager, 99. So people are thinking, what happens to Corey Seager next year when he comes back from Tommy John surgery? Not sure. They might slide Seager over to second base. Second base has been a bit of a... Well, if they re-sign Manny Machado, which they might. I don't think they'll... They'll get him as a rental just to not try to re-sign him. So I think they will try to move Seager over to second base. That could be a thing. Kind of ease some stress off his arm, his elbow. Ozzy Albius, nice. 45 out of 230. Nice one for the Bravos. That'll go to Sen Yin. Next box, good luck. Nick Williams. Paul Blackburn to 150. We'll top load all those before they go out. We got Steven Souza Jr., Garrett Cooper, and Clint Frazier. And JD Davis. Reveals a Paul Blackburn. Didn't we see? No, we didn't have a Paul Blackburn. 48 out of 99. That goes to the A's. That'll be for Scott V and the Athletics. As for that Machado deal, I won't believe it until 
until it's actually announced, but there's some uh, kind of big name, reputable reporters that are reporting it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens when the dust settles. Out of 75, Anthony Banda. Diamondbacks with that one. Then we've got Miguel Gomez for the Giants. And we have a patch auto on the bottom here. There's Dominic Smith, Sean Newcomb, Brandon Woodruff. And behind Alex Bregman is Austin Hayes for the Orioles. 16 out of 75. Three-color patch and autograph for Adam Wilson and the O's. It's a nice hit. Next box. Good luck. TJ says, I think it will happen. Only thing is what prospects they're, they're going to agree upon. Out of 50, Bradley Zimmer. That will be for the Tribe. There's Jordan Montgomery Green. Marquez, Granite, and Dustin Fowler. And then behind Hunter Renfro is going to be a Brandon Woodruff. Nice bit of gold right there for the Brewers. The Brewers were, I thought, pretty close to getting uh, Manny Machado. I mean, nothing set in stone yet, but... But yeah, there you go. Gavin with the oh yeah, we we well we got into single digits about just before I started this break about 10, 15 minutes ago, but now it's down to eight, ladies and gentlemen. Museum collection baseball, get into it. Half case, fresh case, last case. A little bit of break credit attached to it too, that you can use for tomorrow's breaks. Jonathan Scope, Felix Jorge. There's Ahmed Rosario, Devers, and Max Fried. There's Parker Bridwell, who will reveal a Harrison Bader. 52 out of 75. Kind of a crazy story in uh, St. Louis, right? With the coach getting fired, Matheny getting fired after, what, seven, eight years? T almost 10 years, maybe? But apparently... The, the, the rumble and the grumble is that he was just a little too old school. Didn't really didn't really connect with the with the younger players. Apparently hadn't talked to one of his talked to one of his players for months allegedly. I don't know a lot lot of a uh, lot of things there. Kind of lost control of the the locker room. Giancarlo Stanton at a seventy five. I don't think he's. I don't think he's a bad manager. Maybe he just needs just a change of scenery for everybody. Can sometimes do a team good. Luke Weaver, Aaron Judge, and Alex Verdugo. And Keon Broxton reveals, and Alex Verdugo will he be part of the trade the, to uh, for Manny Machado? Maybe Dodgers. Diane Bailey with my Dodgers. Ah, Jose saying that it's Yusnel Diaz that the O's really like. And the Dodgers apparently are ready to make him available. I'd be okay with that. I mean, hey, listen, the Dodgers have a lot of prospects. And, you know, not all of them are going to be starters. And not all of them are going to even make it to the majors. So at some point, you got to... You gotta gamble on. Sorry about that. You gotta gamble on risking moving some of those prospects in order to get guys like this, Manny Machado, green parallel for the O's. You know, and especially since the Dodgers, as Cody Bellinger, one out of fifty. Especially since the Dodgers started off the season so terribly, everyone thought maybe this isn't the year they're gonna make the playoffs. But now they battled back from ten games back of the Diamondbacks. They caught up to the Snakes. And now, a lot of guys are getting healthy. Team's looking pretty good. Maybe that extra boost is going to help. That, maybe some bullpen help, that might be enough to get the Dodgers to go deep into the postseason. J.P. Crawford, that's a great patch. 108 out of 150. Nice jumbo patch and auto 
for the Fightin' Phils, Mary with the Phillies. Nice. I think those are those are generally like one per case or something like that. TJ maybe thinking a certain Lux could be in the conversation. Jeremy saying the Pirates are going to have a fire sale, but I don't think anyone wants who they're giving away. Maybe you think you get a right Twix for Josh Harrison. Maybe. Well, you guys, I mean, who's who's available? Because you guys aren't going to move guys like Jamison Tyon or Austin Meadows, right? There's Greg Allen. Because those guys are the, represent the future. Even Glass now. There's Luis Gorhard at 150. Stevenson, Giolito, and Hayes. And behind Jose Abreu is Bradley Zimmer for the Tribe. 84 out of 230. Ooh, Matt Kemp with a double. That might be good for Nick Jaspi's. Uh, Nick Jaspi put a couple pennies on Matt Kemp at plus 4,500, 45 to 1, to win the uh, MVP of the All-Star game. So we'll see. It's a good start. All right, that's a good one for the Indians. Adam Wilson with the Tribe. Okay, so Nicklau, Jeremy Nicklau saying Harrison, Nova, Glasnow, possibly even uh, even Philippe Vasquez could be on the table for, for the Pirates. Well, they might as well. They had a great start to the season, but, but not quite. You might as well kind of move whatever you can. Start building around Tyon and, and Austin Meadows, who I really like. You know who needs starting pitching? The Yankees could use Ivan Nova again. Brian Anderson for starting pitching depth. Lindor and Kenley Jansen. Behind Matt Olson, the A's are looking good. Hunter Renfro, 89 out of 99. Jeremy, if you have any uh, middle relievers to send to the Dodgers for some maybe... You know, maybe some, some middle-tier prospects. We're down. Hunter Renfro for the Padres. Jose saying, well, apparently if they get him, he's only going to be there the rest of the season because who knows if the Dodgers could afford the contract that Machado wants. If there's any team that could afford that contract, it's the Dodgers, Jose. That's why That's why we have that new ownership. That's, we're, that's what they're, we're, they're there for, to spend that money, and they will. We're under the luxury tax threshold. As long as we say under the luxury tax threshold this season, then it resets. So we're, we would be subject to the lowest amount of penalty if we go over the following year, i.e. Machado, if we re-sign him and extend Kershaw. And after that, the year after that, a lot of big contracts are kind of off the board. Like Rich Hill's double-digit contract is off the board. A lot of other guys will be off the board too. Banda, Barrios, and Tyler Austin. And I think two or three years after that, Justin Turner, who is not exactly super young, Justin Turner's contract will be off the books too. Paul DeYoung, 42 out of 50 for the Cardinals. Dodgers will have plenty of money. I don't think, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Cardinals, that goes to Jason with that one. All right, handful of boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. And I think uh, Valiant Football 8 is filled up, so we'll do that directly after this. And then I think Museum Collection is moving along nicely, so that might be close to being finished by the time we finish uh, this break and then the next one. All right, good luck, everybody. There's Ryan Altavia. This is our last case of Inception, by the way. So we did, we did a ton of divisionals and a ton of these full case pick your teams. So thank you very much, everyone. Inception, always a popular product every year here at jazbeeshobbyland.com. All right, Willie Calhoun, Luis Severino, Chris Bryant. And then Granke, behind Zach Granke is a patch auto. It's going to be Nicky Delmonico. Got a little pinstripe in there and a little silver and black. As for the White Sox, Adam Wilson with the Nicky Delmonico. Jeremy says, we have middle relief if you like watching 7th and 8th eight, inning home runs getting blasted. I do not. All right, there, there's Nicky Delmonico out of 299, I think. Yeah, I do not. So 
maybe maybe we won't be our front office will not be calling your front offices and he says thanks for the break credit you're welcome and you got spots for tomorrow's new release new hockey release yes i, I will do my very best pronouncing those names as best as possible uh there's bets that's half the fun I'll try to watch more, even more hockey this year, folks. 8 out of 25, Jose Altuve. Strohs, King D. If the Dodgers get some middle relief, if the Dodgers do indeed get Manny Machado, if this guy is fully healthy, we might see another one of these World Series. There's DeGrom and Robles. Behind Arenado is another Indian. There's Mike Clevenger. 153 out of 230. Patrick Goodwin asking if there's any Angels hits yet. Negative. No, no hits for Dustin Owens, I'm afraid, Patrick. Dustin Owens appreciates the concern. Now, three boxes left. You never know. Could be a Trout in there. An Otani. Gavin asking, hey, Joe, how jacked is Bryce Harper's dad on a scale of from 1 to 10? I actually was not – ooh, printing plate. That looks like the autograph. No, no, it's actually the – not the autograph, but it's still a plate. There you go. Dominic Smith printing plate. That's pretty cool. That is for the Metropolitan. That will be for Mary Lou. Here's to you, Mary Lou. All aboard. woo woo Nice. I actually did not. Uh, I was listening to the Home Run Derby on the radio. No mention of Bryce Harper's dad being jacked. <laughs> There's Altuve, Blackburn, and Faria. And the autograph is the case at Manny Margot. Three out of 25. The one per case silver ink autograph for the Padres. That'll be, that's also for Mary. There you go. Well, I I had uh, I had Max Muncy plus six fifty to win the home run derby. He lost to Bryce Harper. I am pretty confident that uh, the ball was juiced for Bryce Harper. He was on his home field, so they probably gave him the juiced uh, the juiced bucket of baseballs. That's what I think. It's rigged, rigged for Bryce Harper. In an, in an effort to get Nationals fans to show him the love so he might stay or give him a show before he gets traded at the end of July. All right, now we got Chance Sisko, Miguel Andujar, and Bryce Harper, speaking of Bryce. Yeah, and that bat was probably corked. Absolutely. All right. Oh, another case hit. These are usually only one per case, 58 out of 99. Nice silver ink autograph, Miguel Andujar. For Diane and the Bronx Bombers. Oh, right. Yeah, that, that's what I heard too. That that they pitched before the ball actually fell or landed. They, they were already on the next pitch. See? Shady. That's why that's why I've learned I learned a lesson, folks. And I, I should every year I forget, but every year I I claim that I learned my lesson. That I'm never uh, that I'm never putting pennies on a uh, on a on an event like the Home Run Derby, probably rigged. Eric Fetty. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. George Springer. There's Walker Bueller, the future. I think he just got sent down again, just getting some work done. Two Walker Buellers and a Margot. And Sandy Alcantara. Jake Thompson, 43 out of 75. Phillies. There you go. Gavin saying when this break is over, Google Bryce Harper's dad. I will not be disappointed. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if it was like Bryce Harper's hot sister, I might not be disappointed. Do I want to look at a dad's arm biceps? We probably will. We'll probably, probably take a look. All right. <laughs> That's the full case break. 
But that's the full case break right there, ladies and gentlemen. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Uh, more baseball in the store, so check it out. Plenty, plenty of new releases, plenty of new baseball releases tomorrow as well. You can pre-order those now on JaspiesHobbyland.com. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.